Hi there, my name is Jackie and I am a mom of two and it is currently nap time. My daughter is two and a half years old and my son is about to be two months old. When I first had my daughter, I did not know a whole lot about tummy time. And if you're a new parent and you don't know a whole lot about tummy time, this video is for you. It has a lot of information and some really cool tricks and tips that I have picked up over the course of so many months and years on how to really be a pro at tummy time. All right, so the first thing I did not know is you're supposed to start tummy time when your child is like brand new. Like when you get home from the hospital, you can go ahead and just start tummy time shortly thereafter, like the day of or the week of getting home from the hospital. And the sooner you start, the easier it's going to be. And then the second thing I should tell you is you should be doing one hour of tummy time a day by the time your child is three months old. And by the time your child is eight months old, maybe one hour to 90 minutes a day. And this is really important because it helps the child build up all the muscles that they need to build up in order to hit the milestones that they need to, or you know what, if they don't hit those milestones, your kid's still gonna be fine anyways, but your pediatrician wants you to hit all these milestones. And your mom is probably interested in whether or not the child's crawling. So this is gonna help you get over those hurdles. If your child doesn't crawl though, honestly, like seriously, like eight to 10% of children never crawl. So don't feel bad. You're still doing an awesome job and it's not a big deal, but this is going to help you set yourself up for success so that you're more likely to hit those milestones. So if you start out early enough, then you can easily start to build up towards doing an hour a day by the time they hit three months. You don't have to do a solid hour all at once. You can break it up into several sessions, like 15 minutes here, four times a day, 20 minutes, three times a day, something like that. Now, a good time to do tummy time is right after a diaper change. You're a very tired person because you are a new parent and you are not getting a lot of sleep and trying to remember to do all the things. Oh my God. But if you remember, oh, I just changed the baby's diaper. Now's a good time to do tummy time. This is gonna help you remember and the baby's freshly diapered and dry and happy. And so this is, if they're not hungry and not freaking out, a really great time to do tummy time. So you can get a little mat or you can set them on a blanket on the bed or you can even go outside in the grass and put down a blanket and just lay them down on their stomach on a blanket. Another thing you can use is you can tuck a little pillow underneath their chest right about here. And that'll help them too so that they're not just like face down into the blanket. If you don't have a little pillow, you can roll up a towel even and take that rolled up towel and tuck it underneath their chest. And that will help them so that they can lift up their neck and not just be buried face down into the blanket. Now, there are other variations other than just laying them on a flat surface. I didn't know this when I was brand new, but you can actually do tummy time with your baby on your chest. It's actually quite enjoyable. So what you do is you just put the baby on your chest facing you. And then if you have a reclining chair, you can recline back in the reclining chair. Or if you have a bed, you can just lay down on the bed and you can just hang out with the baby while they're doing tummy time on your chest. And it's a really nice bonding experience to lay there with the baby while they're doing tummy time. Um, another thing you can do is you can kind of hold them up in the air. Don't do this right after you fed them. They will throw up on your face. I've been there and maybe you have to. <laughs> Throwing the baby up in the air right after a feeding, yeah, they're probably gonna spit up. All right, the other thing that you can do that's really fun that I didn't know when I first started all of this is you can pretend the baby is an airplane. You put one hand underneath their chest, another one on their lower abdomen, and you fly them around. Whee! Whoa! Now this is a really great way to break up tummy time by not just doing it on a bed or just on the floor or even outside in the grass for something different. If you're doing the laying on the chest and you're doing the flying around like an airplane, it makes it more interesting for them. It makes it more interesting for you. It breaks up the monotony and maybe that hour a day will go by less arduously. Hopefully it'll be more enjoyable for you. And I hope this does help your baby build up all those muscles so that by the time they hit that 10 month, 11 month, 12 month mark that they're crawling. If not, don't worry about it. The world will keep spinning. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like my video. Hey, if you're a new parent, I have a ton of stuff on breastfeeding and uh, raising toddlers, getting them to eat vegetables. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, you would be tremendously helping me out. No joke. I could seriously use the help. Thank you. High five to you. And um, if you have any questions or comments, 
feel free to put them in the um, comment section below. I'm pretty sure I will answer them because I know how I am. All right. Well, it was really great being able to share this all with you. I hope you and your family have a fantastic one. Take care.